In this video, we will show you the basics of creating scatter plots in our Guru. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the dataset Car Data from the RGuru User's Guide repository. If you would like assistance loading this dataset, please reference our video, Importing a Dataset from a Repository. This dataset has 82 cases with 8 variables. However, we would like to explore the relationship between the two variables, miles per gallon and horsepower. From the Plots toolbox on the left-hand pane, select Create Plot, and then click on Scatter Plots. Begin by scrolling over to the Dataset dropdown and selecting Car Data. In the Predictor dropdown, we will be using the variable Miles per Gallon, which is labeled NPG. For a response variable, we will be using Horsepower, which is labeled HP. In the Labels section, let's label the x-axis miles per gallon, and then label the y-axis horsepower. Now scroll up to the preview icon to see our scatterplot results. Our guru makes it easy to visualize relationships between two variables. As shown by this example, we can see that the relationship between miles per gallon and horsepower seem to be nonlinear. Our guru also provides you the ability to superimpose different lines onto your scatter plots. To do so, scroll up and click on the Basics button. This will reopen the scatter plot dialog box. Within the Superimpose section, you will see three active options for us to choose from Line, Least Squares Line, and Low S Smoothing Curve. Now the line checkbox will connect all the points sequentially. However, adding a line is not relevant to our example here and is mostly used for time plots. Since the relationship of miles per gallon and horsepower seems to be nonlinear, we probably would not want to use a least squares line. A low S curve is a smooth summarizing curve that summarizes the relationship of the variables. Let's click on the low S checkbox and then scroll over and hit the preview icon to see our added curve. Now another option for exploring this relationship would be to perform a transformation on the response variable. Again, scroll back over and click on the Basics button. Now we can perform a transformation on our response variable by simply using our syntax directly in the response dropdown text box. Let me show you how to apply a log transformation to our variable horsepower. Type log, parentheses, capital HP, and then closing parentheses. That's it. We should also change the y-axis label to the log of horsepower to mirror our transformation. Now click the preview icon to see our new results. This scatter plot now appears to have more of a linear relationship. I'm going to click back on the basics button and then add a least squares line. Once we click the preview icon, we can see that the least squares line models our data linearly, while the low S curve now appears to be closer to a line. In subsequent videos, we will show you how to create scatter plots by factor and by group, and also how to identify points on a scatter plot as well as outliers. If you are interested in further exploring the various types of R syntax used for transforming a variable, we invite you to visit www.rdocumentation.org. And if you would like further details and examples on how to create scatter plots, we encourage you to reference the chapter Creating Scatter Plots from our user guidebook.